Hi guys, um, you yeah, asked me to make another video. Um, you all thought my accent was great, so thanks okay, for that. Um, I gained quite a lot of followers from my last video, so um, thanks so much for following me. Hi to all my new followers, my ask is open, feel free to invade it. Um, here's the thing, I get quite a lot of the wanted followers um, on Twitter and on Tumblr. That's totally cool, you're awesome, you're all so much fun. Um, it seems to me now that it's not about their music anymore, more about their sex lives and their relationships and... Oh, right, okay. Number one, say because Nathan's the youngest, that does not mean he's going to go out with you. I'm sorry to all the 14 year old's dreams that I just dashed, but shut up. Second of all, I don't care about his sex life. Right, see when he lost his virginity, I could not go on my Tumblr for at least three days. Alright, I love them as much as you do. I'm equally obsessed, trust me. But I don't care about that bit. I like their albums and their music, you know? Um, third of all, the wanted anons. Really? I'm so sorry, right? Fair enough, it's a laugh. It used to be dead cute when somebody was having like a horrible day. I've done it, right? And I was Tom for this wee girl and told her to cheer up because she was so upset about stuff. That's fine, that's dead cute, that's really nice. Full blown cyber sex and my dash isn't. Uh, come on, you're 14. What? Oh, guys, stop it. See if I see it again, I'm going to unfollow you because it's starting to creep me out. There's people who's pregnant with Tom's kid and going out with Nathan but cheating on him with Max and oh, mate, shush. Um, second of all, quite a lot of my followers come to me for advice. Um, they have problems such as like self harm, eating disorders, stuff like that. Um, people just seem to be able to talk to me, which is awesome. Um, I have a few girls the now, uh, one who has severe depression. I know you're watching this video, I'm not going to say your name or your URL, but you know it's you. You are so much stronger than you think you are. Don't let people put you down. They're idiots, alright? They don't know the battles you've been through, the stuff you've faced, they don't know anything about you. They just love to be judgmental, and I promise you it will get better. The other girls that are on my blog, I have a girl who is obsessed with her weight. She thinks that she needs to lose weight, she doesn't. I've never met you, I only know you through Tumblr. Babe, you're gorgeous, alright? I'd kill to have your legs, I'm sorry, but oh my god, you look like a supermodel, right? You don't need to be size zero for people to see that, okay? You need to just smile and be like, hell yeah, I'm hot and I know it. Sing that LMFA song if that helps, alright? Because see, the more you put your down, the more upset I'm getting and I'm going to end up killing you, okay? And you know what I mean, because we talk about it all the time. You're a big ass Escape the Fate fan. I love you. Stop it. Um, another thing. Since when did Facebook and Tumblr become so alike? And by this I mean... People bitching on other people via Tumblr. I swear to God, I seen a girl the other day and she was saying on Anon, there was a girl on Anon saying to her, I can't believe what you done at school. Right? Come off Anon. No, you should know who I am. Come off Anon. No, you should know who I am. Right, okay. Number one, say she's told you to come off Anon. Good chance is she doesn't know who you are. Second thing, piss off. Leave her alone. Maybe she doesn't want to speak to you. Maybe she doesn't want people to know stuff about her on her Tumblr. Tumblr for a lot of people is an escape. It's the one place they can be their shout. So, see if you have something to say. Say at school or do it on Facebook, since basically that's what Facebook is, alright? Just leave her alone, alright? Honestly. Um, I have about 50 followers who have self-harm, eating disorders, depression, bipolar, you name it, they've got it, right? You could not meet nicer people. I'm serious. See these people? These people make other people feel better when they are dying inside. And I'm not talking about, oh, I've had a bad day. I'm talking they're on the verge of suicide. Now, I speak to a girl, again, not going to say her URL, who, she's so nice. I've only spoke to her a few times, but she's lovely, right? She has anons telling her, when are you going to hurry up and go die? Dude. The girl has severe depression and you're telling her to go kill herself. Real clever. Real clever. Um, 
how would you feel if your message was the last thing she seen on Tumblr before she did actually go kill herself? How would you feel if when you tell that anorexic girl that she's fat, that she goes and throws up, do you feel anything or do you just enjoy the fact that you're evil? I'm talking about anons here. Anons are evil, evil little pests that feel the need to feed on other people's misery. Here's an idea. Fuck off. Leave them alone. Alright? Say somebody's life's that bad that they're hurting themselves or starving themselves or feel that they can't speak to anyone and that they would be better off dead. Here's a, here's just an idea here. You making them feel worse isn't going to help. You would be amazed at the people who whose day is made by them just asking how they are. See if you want somebody's blog and they're having a terrible day and you go, how are you? I can guarantee you that will make them feel better. But see when I go on my dash and I'm seeing people that I speak to a lot getting hate mail, some of my friends getting hate mail, you have no idea how much that pisses me off. Because you don't know anything about any of these people. They only put in their blog what they choose for you to know. They could have been battling cancer and you might not even know and you're telling them to go die. Do you know what I mean? It's just horrible. Stop it. I get hate mail constantly, right? I'm fat, I'm a whore, I'm horrible, I'm nosy, my videos aren't going to help anybody. Okay, cool, that's what you think of me, alright, awesome. Small thing. Just because I'm not going to take it so severely to heart, does it mean somebody else won't? If you think I'm a whore, you're an idiot. I've kissed three guys, two girls, I'm still a virgin, so there you go. Um, through choice. Um, just because some people think that cutting means they're emo. How does that make you emo? To me, that's somebody that needs help. Someone whose life is so bad that they feel the need to take it out in their shelves. Here's an idea. Back off. If someone's that upset, you don't contribute to it. You help them. What is this world coming to when people, like my friend, I met her through Tumblr, right? I've been talking to her for at least a year. She self-harms severely and she was having a bad day and she was telling me all about it and this person came on and on because you know they're too pussy to say it to your face and says to her why don't you do us all a favour and just go die. See the way she was feeling she could have. She could have literally gone and killed herself. Stop it. You have no idea how much your words affect people. If you've got nothing nice to say don't say it. People on my blog have started accusing me of sending hate mail to myself. Guys, I'm nearly 18, no 8, so you know, I've got more stuff to do with my time than sit and tell myself that I'm fat and I'm ugly and I need to go die. Mate, say about 90% of the time, I already know that all this stuff, so you don't need to constantly remind me. So see whoever my anon is, go away. The only reason my anon is still on is because all these people I speak to with genuine problems feel they can talk to me and I want my ask to be open eating here, to be open for anybody who needs me. So, honestly, stop it, right? Just stop it. Another thing, people have been asking me my views on cutting. I don't think it's a good thing, obviously, but sometimes people just can't help it and that's how they deal with their stuff. That's just how it is. That's, that's it, okay? I don't know how else to say it. I don't know. I don't cut. I, I, I've never been in a situation where I had to. I felt the urge to, but I never have. Um, another thing someone asked me was ways to cope. Um, talk to someone. Now, I know that that sounds scary because quite a lot of you don't want to talk to people about it. Um, and that that's why you have your blog. Um, Counselling can be through the doctor and your mum and dad don't need to know. It's all confidential. Um, some of the people suffering with depression on my blog, I know I keep telling you this, but I think you should go see someone. It will make a hell of a lot of difference. Um, at the end of the day, you have the power to make yourself better, but you also can make yourself worse. And if you're making yourself worse, it's going to be so much harder for you to get better. Um, I think that people need, people need the reassurance that everything's going to be alright. Now, 
life's not like that, is it? Because we all know sometimes life doesn't give you lemons. Sometimes life gives you bomb grenades and you want to go mental because you can't cope. Exams, boyfriends, girlfriends, work, friends, fallouts. Things happen that sometimes we can't deal with and that is the way they go. My opinion is, you rant in my ask, you rant in your friend's ask, you tell a brother or sister, someone you're close with, phone a doctor. Cutting's not the answer, it's just how some people choose to deal with it. See you who's watching this video and you've just listened to me rant for about 10 minutes about anons and god knows what. You are perfect the way you are. You are so beautiful, no matter what weight you are, what size you are, if you're black, white or tangerine. You are gorgeous just the way you are and you don't need to prove anything to anybody. You need to be able to smile at yourself. You need to be able to be happy before you can do anything else. And the first thing you need to do is get help. I think that's everything that's been annoying me. Yeah. But I promise you, all of you, it's going to get better. Honest. Just stop with the cyber sex wanted anons. Just stop with the anons in general, unless it's for genuine reason, piss off. Because see now every time I see one, or someone gives someone one, I'm going to sit and have a rant. And you'll never escape, I'll do it constantly. I will find you, I will hunt you down, and I'll kick your ass. So, to Tumblr, can we stop acting like Facebook, please? Cheers guys, film my ass, love ya.